Welcome to Buzz Around the Globe. Azerbaijan on the 19th of September launched a military operation against the breakaway Nagorno-Karabakh region, warning it would continue until the end in the territory, over which it has fought two wars with neighboring Armenia. The latest flare-up in violence came as Russia, the traditional power broker in the region, was bogged down in a conflict in Ukraine. Fears of a fresh war in the volatile Caucasus region have been growing recently, with Armenia accusing Azerbaijan of a troop buildup around the disputed Armenian majority territory. Separatists said Azerbaijan on Tuesday pounded the mountainous territory with artillery, combat aircraft and attack drones, and Armenian Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan called it a ground offensive. Blasts rocked the separatist stronghold Stepanakert earlier on Tuesday, and hours later, an AFP journalist in the town said the shelling was continuing. More than 7,000 people were evacuated from 16 villages, the separatists said. Azerbaijan's defense ministry said it had taken control of more than 60 military positions during localized anti-terrorist measures. Armenian separatists said on social media that fighting was ongoing along the entire line of contact and that Azerbaijani forces were trying to advance into the territory. Separatists said 27 people, including civilians, were killed and more than 200 were wounded. Armenia and Azerbaijan have already fought two wars over Karabakh in the three decades since the Soviet Union they were both members of Collapsed. As angry protesters clashed with police in Armenia's capital Yerevan, calling on Pashinyan to resign, the country's Security Council warned of large-scale unrest. Here is a look at the history of the conflict and the latest developments. Let's understand what is Nagorno-Karabakh. Known as Artsakh by Armenians, it is a mountainous region at the southern end of the Karabakh mountain range within Azerbaijan. It is internationally recognized as part of Azerbaijan, but its 120,000 inhabitants are predominantly ethnic Armenians. They have their own government which is close to Armenia, but not officially recognized by Armenia or any other country. Armenians, who are Christian, claim a long presence in the area, dating back to several centuries before Christ. Azerbaijan, whose inhabitants are mostly Turkic Muslims, also claims deep historical ties to the region, which over the centuries has come under the sway of Persians, Turks and Russians. Bloody conflict between the two peoples goes back more than a century. Under the former Soviet Union, Nagorno-Karabakh became an autonomous region within the Republic of Azerbaijan. As the Soviet Union crumbled, the First Karabakh War between 1988 to 1994 erupted between Armenians and their Azeri neighbors. About 30,000 people were killed and more than a million displaced. Most of those were Azeris driven from their homes when the Armenian side ended up in control of Nagorno-Karabakh itself and swathes of seven surrounding districts. In 2020, after decades of intermittent skirmishes, Azerbaijan began a military operation that became the Second Karabakh War, swiftly breaking through Armenian defenses. It won a resounding victory in 44 days, taking back the seven districts and about a third of Nagorno-Karabakh itself. The use of drones bought from Turkey and Israel was cited by military analysts as one of the main reasons for Azerbaijan's victory. At least 6,500 people were killed. Russia, which has a defense treaty with Armenia, but also has good relations with Azerbaijan, negotiated a ceasefire. The deal provided for 1,960 Russian peacekeepers to guard the territory's lifeline to Armenia. The road through the Lakin Corridor, which Armenian forces no longer controlled. Analysts say successive rounds of talks, mediated variously by the European Union, the United States and Russia, have brought the two sides closer to a permanent peace treaty than they have been for years. But a final settlement remains elusive. The most sensitive issue is the status of the 120,000 ethnic Armenians in Karabakh, whose rights and security Armenia says must be guaranteed. Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan has said Armenia recognizes the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Azerbaijan. But Baku says it is not certain the assertion was made in good faith and accuses Armenia of fueling separatism. As far as this time's conflict is concerned, Armenia's foreign ministry condemned Azerbaijani aggression aimed at completing its policy of ethnic cleansing and called on Russian peacekeepers stationed in the region to take clear and unequivocal steps to stop the fighting. Azerbaijan justified its operation, citing systematic shelling by Armenian-backed forces and accusing them of carrying out reconnaissance activities and fortifying defensive positions accusing separatists of a high level of combat readiness. Russia and Turkey, which oversee a fragile peacekeeping mission in Nagorno-Karabakh, had been informed about the operation, Baku said. Turkey, a historic ally of predominantly Muslim Azerbaijan, that views mostly Christian Armenia 
as one of its main regional rivals, called the Operation Justified, while urging comprehensive negotiations. Moscow's foreign ministry spokeswoman Maria Zakharova said it was given minutes notice of the start of Azerbaijan's operation. Do tell us what you think about this video in comments section and for more news updates subscribe to India Today.